after the closing of the transaction, the seller may have certain post-closing obligations. These may include purchase price adjustments, payable to the buyer and potential indemnification claims. So, a buyer in an M&A transaction generally requires a portion of the purchase price to be held back until a later date in the circumstances listed here. The buyer has concerns about the seller's ability to pay its post-closing obligations. The buyer may not be certain that the seller's creditworthiness will hold up until the liability comes due. Or the buyer may not trust the seller to actually pay the liability when due without the threat and distraction of litigation over the term of the indemnity. If the seller does not pay under the indemnity, then the buyer would be stuck in the middle required to pay the liability to the third-party creditor or suffer the loss, but unable to recover under the indemnity from the seller. There may also be a case where there are multiple sellers. In such a case, the buyer may want an escrow to ease the burden of having to track down each seller when claims arise. Then again, the buyer may wish to streamline the process of obtaining amounts for post-closing obligations. Sellers typically prefer that these held-back amounts be placed into escrow with a third-party escrow agent rather than being retained by the buyer. If a transaction has an earnout, then the buyer may also bargain for the rights to offset future earnout payments if any indemnity payment is owed. In these cases, the pressure to have an escrow is reduced. The parties will have to agree on whether the offset right applies if an indemnity payment is being disputed in good faith. To establish the escrow, the parties enter into an escrow agreement with an escrow agent. The agreement sets out the terms and conditions under which the escrow agent holds and distributes the escrowed fund. You may see a sample of escrow agreement as a supplement to this course. In most M&A transactions, the escrow agent is a bank or a financial institution that often has its own set of standard terms and conditions for the escrow agreement. In some cases, the escrow agent may want to use its own form of escrow agreement. Issues and delays may arise. If any of the escrow agent's standard terms and conditions or form of the escrow agreement conflict with the terms and conditions negotiated between the buyer and seller, well, as such, there are no laws as to who can be an escrow agent or what are the qualifications to become one. As such, anyone can become an escrow agent. I have seen a partner of a law firm becoming an escrow agent for keeping the papers in a safe custody. Often, this stems from the trust level that a person has with the buyer and seller. However, when some consideration has some monetary value, typically a bank or a financial institution is chosen as an escrow agent. This is because many a times the money depositing party would like to keep the money in some interest-bearing account rather than having it idle. Of course, there are some fees associated with providing this service. The bank and financial institutes have a special rate card. It can be fixed amount or a percentage of the money kept in the escrow amount. There are several NBFCs which provide this type of service. In crude monetary terms, the charges for an escrow account can be about 1% of the deposited sum. All the banks, PSUs and private provide these services. Access the link below this video to see an example of the services offered by Kotak Mahindra Bank. The buyer and seller may want to involve the escrow agent 
in the negotiation process as early as possible. This will avoid any delays in completing the underlying acquisition. At a minimum, the parties should determine who will act as escrow agent and request their form of agreement before drafting the escrow agreement. When choosing the escrow agent, the parties might want to consider whether a party has a strong relationship with the escrow agent. For example, either the buyer or seller may be a large customer of the escrow agent. This will help the parties negotiate better pricing and formidable terms under the escrow agreement.